What's up everybody, Josh Helm here with Texas Best Construction and today I've got a special treat for you guys. It's just me and the boys. My wife and my daughter are out of town this weekend so I thought, hey, what better thing to do than to take care of that home project that I've been needing to do in the garage area. Here recently we've extended our laundry room into a part of the garage and so we're going to take the leftover space and partition that off for our dogs. We have some fairly large dogs and uh, they're always right in the middle of everything we're trying to do and uh, if you guys are like us we come in and out of our garage all the time and so it just is going to be a nice thing to do to partition a space that's just for them to where we can shut them off so we're going to be taking you through the steps of how we did that but i will reveal at the very end how the end all picture is of what it looks like so i hope you'll watch till the end but in the meantime, I need you to help me out with something because, you know, maybe you don't realize this or not, but not all teenagers want their parents to be on YouTube. So help me show these kids that maybe dad's not so uncool after all. And if you would just like, share, subscribe to this channel, um, now's the time. We need your guys' support. And if you've watched a few of our videos, I uh, hope you realize that uh, we're continually going to be bringing you content. But stay tuned for more, and let's get right into it. Okay, so it's me and the boys today. Jaden, Justice, Jensen, there they are. There's dirt on the And so here. today, mom is headed to a baby shower in Oklahoma. She decided to take Bailey. So, and little miss, little miss is with her. Anyhow, it's just me and the boys. We got some projects to do on this Saturday afternoon and everybody got slept in, so everybody's well rested. Definitely right now we're gonna go get us some pan head screws. Anybody know what a pan head screw is? Um, or a pancake some screw? Some kind of screw, it's like a short. If I tell you what a pancake uh, screw. The top Isn't it of like it, a short hey, stubby I, screw? I think it's gonna be like the top of it yeah, is it's, completely flat. Okay, that's, that's that's pretty smart. And um, what do you think? A short? What'd you short say? Short stubby screw. Short stubby screw, and it's flat on the top. That's a pretty good description. But that's why you call it a pancake, because basically once you put the screw in, you want it to be flat against the surface, so that you can put something else over top of it, or it's just smooth across there. So otherwise, it will not work because we have something else that's going to be uh, fastened on top. So we're going to try to get it to be a smooth surface with a pancake screw helm. That's what we're on the hunt for. Obviously, number one, get the pancake screws. Number two, to get what? Food. Food, yeah. Mom has cheesy jokes. <laughs> Mom has cheesy jokes. What do you think? There's cheese in it. So we've uh, found the screws we were looking for. I'm not sure if we wanted to do uh, self-drillers or or what. So we're gonna buy two boxes. That's the plan. Here, hold this for me. We got the screws. Now it's time for step two of our plan, which I think is one of the most important parts: is eating. Panda. So mom's not here. We're not sure if these boys know how to hold it on I do. More importantly, we're not sure if dad knows how to hold it Do you know what you want to eat? Because you ate two bags of chips. Huh? All right, so you don't want anything? You sure? I bet you do. Wait, the last time we came here? All right, we'll get you something. Wait a second. The last time we came here? Oh my gosh, you can get three. The bigger plate, you can have three portions of... What's up guys? So today I've got three helpers. We're doing some work here in the garage. And what we've done here is we've actually did a, a remodel coming out of our laundry area and we built into the garage. But for today, we're trying to designate an area. So we're gonna build a divider here. Well, we're not gonna do that today. But today we're gonna be putting a wainscot around the bottom of this area all the way around over this way, around this way. 
And the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to create a barrier in this smaller portion of the garage where we can close up our dogs, keep them over here, over here without them tearing up the sheetrock. So we're going to put some corrugated metal along the bottom to create a barrier at the bottom uh, to keep them, if they're laying up against it or they're muddy or whatever, it'd be something we can just wash off. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. in the center. Put the bubble in the center. And hold it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bro, you guys missed the line all the way. Look at that. We marked it. Oh, man. oh boy. Okay, I was in here for like three quarters of These it. guys have a long ways to go before they work for Texas Excuse Best. me. Jaden, I think I have a piece of truck trim over there. The, the top trim. What are you talking about? The J trim. gonna have to cut another one foot section to go right there hold on baby hold on and then we're gonna be going across here with the other panels now I wouldn't have had to put this extra screw here but these knucklehead boys got off on the line I had we had uh, leveled the line and so as you can see the bottom of this band that we put on there it didn't actually reach that so we've got a screw, two screws that go through the band to hold the panel on, and one screw that actually attaches this trim piece to each other. So I think it's looking pretty good. I think it's gonna be a real nice little area. See what we're gonna do is kind of build a, a fence right here with a gate. And this door will be able to come down and we can shut it off and so basically that will be like a little dog kennel area that's what that's going to be these screws are a little bit harder primarily because they don't have as much of a starter bit on them like these do. These have the starter piece, but because he's going metal to wood, we want him to have a good attachment on the bottom there. There you go. Gotcha. And they're grabbing really good, so I feel pretty good about it. Continue, 
we go. The reason why we're doing three screws here is only to match the other pattern for the boo boo that happened on that wall because you know somebody wasn't paying attention i don't know which one it was but one of them was not paying attention Okay. Got a few more on the bottom there, buddy. Yes, sir. Not those. Oh, not these? Yeah. They're over here. Yeah, the other ones. So these boys have been pretty helpful today. Pretty much. Both of them. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to watch this zoom it up. It's gonna be the last screw. Not yet. It's almost the last screw. Uno mas, amigo. Uno mas. One ma. I think we'll keep this one high, huh? It's the special screw. It's the last one. Okay. Dad, do how think? do you feel about yourself? For finishing. Oh, I feel highly accomplished after that. Don't you? I do as well. <laughs> this portion of it is complete. We are completely done with this portion. I was pushing one in, and then it would make me scoot back because I'm pushing up against the wall, and then I'd have to move up again and push it back in. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a kind of gives you a sense of accomplishment, huh? Especially because it's done now. It looks so good. Yeah, it's a little dirty over here, so I have to clean it up. But it's just dirt. It's just dirt. A little dirt don't hurt. Okay, that's our Wayne's coat. So I want to get into this video showing you guys exactly how we're using the space. Uh, we actually, as you can see, have the uh, wainscot going around the area. Um, this turned out really nice. We ended up covering the concrete with a uh, concrete coating. But as you can see, Mr. Jack is enjoying his space. and. We ended up adding a partition here, which these are materials that we bought locally um, with the anchors. These are anchored in. And then we have the vinyl coated uh, chain link fence, black. We actually originally put in a five foot fence here, but one of my other dogs who likes to jump fences uh, was jumping it already so we eliminated the height problem and went on up with it and I did not cut the post out of concern that that would be the problem so we left the post and ended up adding the other height to it later so that's how we're utilizing the space I think it turned out nice and my wife can park in the garage now so uh, we're just keeping it kind of simple. And uh, Jack likes it. You want a treat? Want a treat, Jack? Yeah? Good boy. That is a Husky designed organizational system, which I think you can get it at Lowe's. Uh, Home Depot sells another one similar to that. If not, that's where you can get that. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, I've enjoyed working with my sons. So write some comments below. Let us know what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, if you want to see these guys helping old dad on the weekends, uh, we appreciate it. Don't forget what I asked y'all to do. And I'm Josh Helm wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas best.
<laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good.